Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, a continuation of the series, before we get into adjusting the car controls, we'll first go over how to build a racetrack in Unreal Engine like the one you see here in a way that's easier than you might think. It'll be a simple and creative video as usual, so let's get started. First, we'll prepare the area where we'll create our track. So let's create a new level to start in. This will be our main world. I've already created one and it's the one I'm in right now. To begin, go to the landscape tab and in this section here, choose the spline option. This is what we'll use to create the track. But before using it, create a new layer for the track and with the left mouse button, select this option. This step is necessary for it to work properly. In versions above 5.4, the process is a bit different, so just follow the steps shown in these images. Now we can start building the track. To do that, hold the control key and click anywhere in the world. Then click on the new point you created, and again on another spot in the world. Keep doing this until you finish the shape of the track you want. Once you reach the last point, hover over the first one and press Control to close the track. Here's the current shape of our track, but we can improve it further. If we move one of the points upward, as you can see, the terrain moves with it. And if we tilt it, we can make a banked curve for the cars. You can adjust it however you like. You can also widen the track like this or make it narrower. That's definitely great. Now the next step is to add the track surface. To do that, I'll first create the base road mesh that represents the track. Simply add a new cube and shape it to fit your track. After that, it's time to choose a material for the track. I'll use this one. It looks suitable to me. Once everything is arranged correctly, there's an important step. We need to break the transform of the cube we created for the track. Let's also rename it so we can recognize it later. Then, to connect it with the spline, select any spline point and click Update All Spline Points from here. After that, scroll down a bit to this section, add a new element, and place the new mesh inside it. The result looks good already. However, if you notice, the track's curves are not smooth and look a bit rough. To fix that, Click on the road we created, then go to the subdivision option, select it, and set it to three divisions. We don't want too many to keep performance good. As you can see, it looks much better now. You can even drive on it to test it. but I still find it incomplete. What's missing, in my opinion, are the side barriers to prevent the car from going off the track. So let's add them. For that, I'll use this asset. Let's move it into our project, and after that, the process is simple. Just place it along the edges and group everything together. But there's a small issue. Sometimes when the car collides with the barrier, it might hit one of the edges awkwardly or get stuck, which gives a buggy impression. 
So here's a trick I use to fix that. I create a new cube and cover the entire barrier with it. Of course, we don't want it to be visible, so I create a new transparent material with opacity set to zero and apply it to the cube so it's invisible. Next, I merge the cube with the barrier using Merge. After finishing, make sure to delete any unnecessary collisions. We only want to keep the complex collision. And please, don't just add collision from here instead of following these steps. You'll run into problems later. After that, we need to place it along the entire track. Instead of doing it manually, we can use this tool. I think it's only available in versions 5.2 and above. So we'll configure the settings here And after that, we'll merge everything together, including the road. Then rename it again. Now, we'll place this in the same position as the previous road. What's happening now is perfectly normal. Just select all the points and adjust this value until it looks right. Good, now we've built our track. With that, we've finished constructing our racetrack. But as a final touch, you can do this. Hide one of these layers to give a better atmosphere. It really adds a nice feeling. In the next video, we'll work on improving the car's movement and go over the best settings for that. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos.